ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂದುಬಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ್ವಚ ಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಬನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷ್ಯಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ಭರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಜತ್ರ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಸುಧಾ ಕಥಾ ಸುಧಾಪಗ 
न साधव भगवत तदाश्रय न जत्रो वैकुंठ मखा सुरेश लोक ओपी न वैश्व सेव्यतम न जत्र वैकुंठ कथा सुधा पगा न साधव भगवत तदाश्रय न जत्र जज्ञेश मखा महोत्सव सुरेश लोक ओपी न वैश्व सेव्यतम सुरेश लोक ओपी न वैश्व सेव्यतम गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपाद जगदगुरु टोल नथिंग ऑफ अस्पीशियस नथिंग ऑफ अस्पीशियस लाइक गुरु सेवा यू कैन नॉट फाइंड एनीथिंग व्हिच इज मोर अस्पीशियस देन गुरु सेवा जगदगुरु शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपाद गौरीय गोष्ठीपति टोल Nothing is more auspicious than Guru Seva. Guru Seva is, you know, actually, if we can believe that Guru going to give us hundred percent benefit, if we can believe that Guru Dev is non-different from Bhagwan, if we can believe that Guru Dev is non-different from Bhagwan. Bhagwan coming in the form of Guru Pad Padma, and if we can believe, total responsibility given to my Guru Pad Padma, my good and bad, everything given until lost into the hand of Guru Pad Padma. Then we can, if we can believe that way, then we can do actual Hari Bhajan. Popa speaking. Until and unless there is hundred percent saranagati, Baba speaking. Until and unless there is hundred percent saranagati unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, unto the lotus feet of Bhagwan, one cannot speak about that absolute truth, absolute way. Baba speaking. If I have no hundred, I, if if I don't have hundred percent submission. Unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, then I cannot. In that case, I cannot speak about that absolute truth, absolute way. Not possible. I can fear. If I go to seek the satisfaction of whole public all over the world, Papa speaking. In that case, I am going to invite Amangal. There is Asrutu Pantha. If I am going to seek the satisfaction of public, if I if I think, if I think that if I speak this way, then public can, all public can go against me. If I think this way, in that case I am going to leave the track of bhakti, bhakti way. I am going to follow a bhakti. I mean ashoto pantha, which is very dangerous. Sila Bhakti Shiddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Jagadguru told the only duty of an Acharya is to protect the Siddhanta Vani, is to give full satisfaction to Siddhanta Vani. Prabhupada speaking, the only duty of an Acharya is to give full satisfaction to Siddhanta Vani, nothing else. Because if Siddhanta Vani is protected, if Siddhanta Vani is protected, then we can protect everything. If Siddhanta Vani protected, if we can give full satisfaction, full protection to Siddhanta Vani, in that case we can see everything protected. All your etiquette, acharan, or rules and regulation, everything can go nicely. At the time of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, there was thousands of devotees. At the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there was thousands of devotees. But still, they didn't think it necessary to make one society. At the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there was thousands of devotees, but they never thought it necessary. They, did, they didn't think it necessary to open one society. To organize the function of seva function properly, 
because all their mentality, all their, all their mentality, everything was more or less one same. They wanted to give full satisfaction to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then that's why they they didn't think it necessary to open one society because all their conception, all their idea, all the everything was to give full satisfaction to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Similarly, at the time of Prabhupada, in the beginning, at the time of Prabhupada, in the beginning, when Prabhupada started his own mission, they all big, big, you know, exalted devotees, they came to join Mat. Our Param Puja of Keshav Goswami Maharaj was one of them. Silo Keshav Goswami Maharaj is one of them, is a great devotee. He can be compared with Kuresh. He is such a great devotee. Great devotee means he was such a great Guru Shevak that even he can be compared with Kuresh. Kuresh, I already told, Kuresh was the Shevak of Ramanuja Charju. You heard, na? Kuresh, you forget. Kuresh was the Shevak of Ramanuja Charju who was ready to, ready to give his life and give his life and soul for Guruji. He was ready to give life and, life and soul for Guruji. Similarly, our Vinod Binod Babu, his previous name was Vinod Bihari. He was ready to give his life and soul for Guru Padma. Not that philosophically, he is going to show some, you know, attitude, Positive but not that. From heart, he wanted to give his life and soul for Guru Path Padma. He came in the year of 1918. Vinoda came, joined Mott, in the year of 1918. How he came? He is from, at present it is Bangladesh. At present it is Bangladesh. Borishal district. At present it is Bangladesh, Borishal district. And the name of the village is Banwari Para. Name of the village is Banwari Para. He used to stay there. He is from a high family. High family in the sense, very rich family. Jamindar, you know, landlord. He was from a very high family. So naturally, he is from a high family. His is you know activities everything like a high you know very sophisticated man like one brother. He had one brother, elder brother. I can speak about him after. One day, Param Pujat Keshav Kushi Maharaj, I mean Binodda, Binod Binod Prabhu. He took information that Jagat Guru Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada coming to their locality, I mean next village, to preach Harika, to, to, to speak Harikatha there. He took information. In that case, he took decision to go there to hear Harikatha from the Lotus Mount of Sila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada went there to speak Harikatha and Vinodda, actually they are eternal parsa. They are eternal parsa, they are playing this way. Actually they are eternal parsa. So anyway, he went to hear Harikatha from Prabhupada, thousands of people hearing Harikatha. In the meantime, Prabhupada speaking Harikatha, and while speaking Harikatha, one time Swopa speaking, I can sacrifice the whole universe for the, for the service, for the service of Supreme Lord. I can sacrifice the whole universe for the seva of Supreme Lord. Swopa was speaking. Then Vinodda immediately become very shocked. He is feeling how he is speaking. He is a great sadhu. 
How you speaking this way? He is a great sadhu. How speaking this way that he can sacrifice the whole world, whole universe for the service of Bhagwan? How it is possible? Then he went on hearing Harikatha. Some doubt is there inside heart. He is thinking how possible. He is a great devotee. He can sacrifice the whole universe for this, for the seva of Bhagwan. Is a sadhu cannot speak this way. When he was speaking this way, in the meantime, Prabhupada Antaryami, Prabhupada knowing everything. Then Prabhupada speaking Harikatha. In the way of his Harikatha, Prabhupada explains something and Vinodda could immediately realize, Vinodda could very easily realize that, oh, it is my wrong conception. Well, actually, Vaikuntha Jagat, Golok, Golok Vrindavan or Vaikuntha Jagat, it is actually, actually a Prakita Jagat. And this material world is a perverted reflection of the transcendental world. I mean negative. That is Aprakita Jagat, that is called Aprakita Jagat. And this material world is a perverted reflection of the transcendental world. So, anything there in this transcendental world, anything there in Golok Vrindavan, Vaikuntha, it is positive. Even one, even one, I told many times, even one dust particle, even one dust particle from the even one dust particle from Golok Vrindavan is, is positive, not only positive, a dust particle itself complete. You know complete? You know the conception of complete? The dust particle itself complete. What do you mean by complete? Complete means Purna. Like in Ishopanishad we know, Purna Sya Purna Madhaya Purna Meva Avashishwati. From Ishopanishad we know Purnasya Purna Madhaya Purna Meva Avashishvati. In this material world, in this material world, material people, in this material world, material people cannot understand this point. In this material world, material people cannot understand fully how it is possible. Because Purna conception, Purno, Purno, this conception cannot stand. Purno, this conception cannot stand in, inside the heart of a bonded soul. One example I can give you, there is one liter milk. There is one liter milk in a pot. You ask me, you, give, you are asking me, you give me some milk. I, gi I am going to give you half milk. I mean 50 ml. One liter out of one liter, I am going to give you 50 ml. 50 ml. Then, the, then the rest, 50 ml I have, I give you 50 ml. So naturally, 50, one liter minus 50 ml, 50 ml left with me. But this conception is not allowed in Aprakita Jagat. In Aprakita Jagat, if I am going to take something from if I am going to get, take something, then the same thing is left. Don't understand. Suppose Govardhan, Bhagavan sent Govardhan from Golok Vrindavan. Govardhan coming here. That doesn't mean Golokdham is not there. Follow. Bhagavan going to send Golokdham, Jomuna, everything. That doesn't mean now Golokdham is absent. Now in Golokdham, Govardhan is absent. Not that. So, Purna so Purna Madayo from Purna Bastu. In the material world, nothing is Purna. Your body, your relationship, your father, mother, money, position, whatever you think, whatever you think, you think satisfied. I have sufficient balance in my bank, I can read my life, but it's not sufficient. It's in, incomplete actually, not complete. Anything you have in the material world is not at all complete. It is incomplete. All your relationship, all your love affair with anybody, anything, all incomplete, not complete. 
But when in Shastra it is written that Purno Sapurno Madayo Purno Meva Avashishvate, that means any Bastu, any object, any dust particle, anything from Golok Vrindavan, I mean from Vaikuntha, it is complete. No dissatisfaction there. No incomplete conception in, you can impose. No incomplete, because dust particle itself complete. So, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, eternal Parsad, he could immediately realize, immediately he could realize well that Vaikuntha Jagat is, you know, complete, Purna Jagat. So, whatever, whatever glamour, whatever prestige, whatever, you know, situation we can discover in this material world, it is all negative. Any amount of honour, respect, any amount of money, anything, manpower, everything, all incomplete. Suppose I, suppose I put zero, suppose one straight line I draw, one straight line. I put one point, I like to put one point in paper, and put zero, put one point, I mark zero, and this point I extend both way. One point, if I extend both way, right hand side, left hand side, that means it become a straight line. One point is there, if I extend right hand side and left hand side both way, then from the point, this, that becomes straight line. And in the middle, I find zero. In the middle, I find you. The conception of zero coming, coming from where? For Bhaskara Charjo, one, one Muni, one Rishi. Bhaskara Charjo. He giving the conception of positive integer, positive integer, negative integer, zero, all coming from India. Bhaskara Charjo, one Rishi. So zero is there. In right hand side, I can write one, two, three, four, five, and I can go. And left hand side, I can write minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Follow what I say. Try to understand. So in right hand side, so in right hand side, the more I can proceed. In the right hand side, the more I proceed. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. The more I proceed in right right hand direction, the valuation of the integer is increasing. Valuation of integer, any integer increasing. Like two is greater than one, four is surely greater than three, five is surely greater than four, six this way increase. But left hand side just opposite. Minus one. Minus two, minus two, minus three, you are going. So minus one is surely greater than minus two. General conception, like a foolish man. Yeah, basic conception. Minus one is surely greater than minus two. Everybody know. Minus two is more greater than minus three. So Kesav Goswami immediately could realize Vinodha. Oh, really? It's true. What is the value of this, you know? What is the value of this material world? What is the value of this infinity material world? What is the value of this infinity material world? Is there any value? If they are not going to do Hari Bhajan, what value? If we can utilize everything for Hari Bhajan, that value. If we can utilize everything for Hari Bhajan, that's okay. But if we cannot utilize, the infinity material world, infinity material world is less important than one dust particle from Gologvina. Try to get my point. Infinity material world is less important than one dust particle I discovered from Gologvina. This conception. They are eternal parsat. So immediately they could realize what a great, you know, what a great conception. High idea. Srila Keshav Goswami Maharaj, his paternal aunt, both paternal aunt, both 
they are initiated by Srila Prabhupada. Vinoda came in a very young, young age with paternal aunt, auntie, paternal auntie, not aunt, to meet with Srila Prabhupada. He is meeting Prabhupada, taking darshan of, you know, Vigraha, everything. Very nice. And up to meet with Prabhupada, and then gone to home. After that, on hearing Harikatha, Siddhanta, Vichara, Prabhupada, everything, he thought it necessary. His schooling was done in his, you know, area. After that, higher education, graduation, everything done. Very intelligent. Super intelligent, not intelligent. Super intelligent. Vinodha was super intelligent, super. You know, super intelligent man. You know, for Guru Shiva, for Guru Shiva, just, you know, fit for Guru Shiva. Because foolish people, they cannot do Guru Shiva. Foolish people, they cannot do. Foolish people are always fearing. When you are going to submit unto the lotus feet of Guru Pat Padma, you should not fear. You should believe that I am not protected. If you are fearing that you are 100% your submission is not perfect. If you are fearing still today, that means your submission is not perfect. Because in Kirtan, Bhakti Muttaku writing, North Muttaku writing, in Sastra, everything in Bhagavatam, we, we find everything. Sarvasya Tomar, Charane Shopiya, this Kirtan you can parichi Tomar Ghare. Tumi to Takur, Tomar Kukur, this you can find. This Kirtan you know, you heard. Another, many Kirtan, what I saw. Everything, there is written, Manasha Deho Geho Jo Kichu Moro Orpinu Tuapade Nanda Kishore Hena. This Kirtan is also uh, going to prove this 100% submission. Atmo nivedan tuapa de koru. This kitan you heard? No heard. Never hearing. Kitan, not doing. But you are doing whole day. I told every fraction of second you will have to utilize for Hari Vajam. Atmo nivedan tuapa de kori. Hoinu paramo shukhi. Dukho dure gelo chintana rohilo. Chaudi ke anando heri. I find everything full of enjoyment. That is called diksha. That is called actual diksha. When you are going to submit yourself and Gurudev giving you diksha, that means you can find all enjoyment, full world. Eh? Full world. Where is grievance? Prabhupada Sarasabha speaking, no? Prabhupada Sarasabha speaking, no? Prabhupada Sarasabha speaking. You know, this way, Prabhupada Sarasabha speaking. Follow. Everywhere a disciple, a genuine disciple can find all transcendental enjoyment, everywhere. Like a baby, you know, just took birth, a baby, a baby feeling very comfortable into the lap of mother. Eh? Feeling, no? A baby in the lap of mother, always being, uh, jumping hand and leg. No anxiety. No anxiety. Baby cannot think that some problem can be there. Cannot think. All of that. Hand and leg, laughing. Why? Totally surrendered. Totally surrendered unto the lotus feet of mother. If mother is going to throw into a river, the boy can, baby can die. Submission is such a thing which can give you full assurance. You can feel, you know, always happy. You can feel always happy. No fear can, no fear can put you in trouble. Because in Bhagavatam, many times I told, when you are fearing, that's mean, when you are fearing, that's mean you have, 
you have some other attention. If you are fearing, surely there is some other attention than Guru Vishnu Bhagavan. If you are fearing, I mean, surely there is another attention. Vayam dityo vinivishatahasat ishat apatasya viparjaya asriti. If you feel Bhagavan, a pure devotee, what is the symptom of a pure? You foolish. Whole world, you know, they are cheated. What is the symptom of a pure devotee, you know? The symptom of a pure devotee that if fraction of second, if fraction of second, fraction of second, if they are going to break linkage with Bhagavan, they can feel like a fish out of water. That is the symptom of a devotee. You can speak material word. You think about money, position, woman, everything. There is a fraction of second. If you do, they can feel suffocation. Suffocation, you know? Like without oxygen, you are going to die. Suffocation. There is a symptom of pure devotee. That's why yesterday I was speaking in Shiv Mandir, na? Baram Hutabah yala panjarantara bevasthiti. Rupa Goswami is speaking, better you can put me into a case. Case, you know, case. Better you can put me inside a case and shed fire all around. I can feel comfortable. But still, Bhagavan don't allow me in material association. That is the main problem. That I am in Vyasasana. I am touching telegram and Prabhupada, that is the male problem. That is the main vital problem. That is the male problem for why whole world going wrong way. Because they are going to accept one man, one devotee, one acharya. They are going to accept. They are going to accept one fallen soul. They are going to accept one fallen soul as their idealism. If you are going to, if you are going to accept one fallen soul as your, as your idealism, what you can expect in your life? What you can expect in your life? You can go to hell. Day by day you can fear, you are aimless, you can fear, how I can do? Otherwise, if you are enjoying full kipa of Guru Vaishnava, Guru Vaishnava always speaking this way, don't fear. That is the first duty of Guru. Be careful. That is the first duty of Guru. When you are doing Guru Puja, you don't know? Eh? Foolish, you are doing Guru Puja? Siman Nabad Dipe Dinatam Dibujam Gurum Barabhaya Padam Svantam Smareto Tannama Puru. Foolish. To whom I can speak Harikatha? In front of some child. Foolish. <laughs> it is written in our channel. It is written there that Gurudev always standing in Navadip. You can, you can conceive when you are doing chanting Anikna, chanting Anik, chant, doing Mala, you must remember Guru Pad Padma, Guru Vaishnava. That Gurudev is there in Vrindavan, Navadip, and going to show me this Balabhaya This is a symptom. To show you, there is a one kind of mudra. It is called mudra, gesture. You know, mudra, gesture to make you fearless. Don't fear, I am there. Don't fear. Why you are fearing? You are in my lap. If, you are if I am fearing, Bhakti Mahaprabhu will say, oh, go on, how, who can give me? Are you foolish? <laughs> Gurudev giving me protection. You can try to kill me. You can see Gurudev can protect me. All the time, Guru, everywhere. That day I was speaking, na? everywhere you should, you, everywhere you should discover your Guru. Wherever you see. Even you find one woman, beautiful woman, and a handsome young man, you can sign your guru. If you cannot find, then your darshan is dirty darshan. Maya darshan. Everywhere you should find guru. Hare Pab. Guru mean? Guru mean not logu. You should utilize everything for Guru Shiva, not for personal enjoyment. Very easily you can get control over your mind, heart. Don't think. Very shortly, you can. Provided you are going to show 100% submission, sincere. 
So Vinoda coming here is from a high family, very high family, rich family, Jamindar family. So now going to join Prabhupada. Prabhupada, it is a special, I can discuss on Monday, what is the speciality of the Acharya Siva of Srila Prabhupada? I was discussing for a long time, you know, for these topics. Srila Prabhupada and his, the Prabhupada and his unique Acharya Siva. 72 or 74 Harikatha. You can go on. So, Prabhupada, it is the speciality of Prabhupada, whenever anybody coming in front of him, he can look at eyes and immediately can understand what is there inside heart, what weakness, what kind of speciality there inside the heart. Accordingly, Prabhupada used to utilize that Jivatma in Guru Shava. Follow. It was, it was the speciality of Prabhupada. If Prabhupada looking at anybody, if anybody coming in front of you, Prabhupada looking at him, it was a special capacity of Prabhupada. He could realize what is the condition of the heart and what seva I should give. In what seva I could engage that Jivatma. At present, our preaching is to, at present, at present our preaching, at present our preaching is to collect money position and to make disciple. Or you can come to me, I can give you. I can give you. At present, this is called the preaching situation. But preaching doesn't mean only making disciple like dog and cat. By giving diksha, I am going to make dog and cats. This is my diksha. If I am not a realized soul, how I can give realization to you? If I am not a realized soul, how I can give realization to you? Follow what I say. This way, actual meaning of preaching is to bestow keeper to bonded soul. You have sufficient keeper so that you are going to distribute keeper. Preaching means to distribute keeper of Bhagavan to everybody. You have that kind of power? Do you think you are qualified? Then why you are going to preaching? To make some disturbance or garbage? Garbage all you are making, garbage all over the world. Preaching not a matter of joke. Very exalted devotees. No self-interest, nothing. We have seen big, big acharyas. Finally, they are deviated from their Guru Path Padma, from their institution. They want to prove I am the great preacher. But I, those who are Siddhanta Bhid, they say it's not zero, all zero. If I am deviated from the track of Guru Path Padma, if I am going to deviate, get deviated from the track of stand, you know, Guru Path Padma, all zero, my preaching. Whatever energy I have given for preaching, all useless. A pure devotee not interested to make disciple like dog and cat and monkey. You are going to give birth some monkey, dog and cat. Otherwise, though, why they are characterless? If you say I am giving diksha, okay. Why they are characterless? Why is so dirty conception there? If they are at all going in front of a Sadguru, how they can develop this kind of, you know, dirty conception? Sadguru can purify your heart. It's very easy. Because in Diksha Mantra it is written. In Diksha Mantra it is written. What do you mean by Diksha? Diksha Mantra it is written, na? Diksha, you mean to keep some, give some mantra, speak something and switch your gone. Not that. Diksha mean, Diksha mean, to give Dibba Gyan, transcendental knowledge of relationship. Follow. Diksha means to transfer Dibba Gyan into the heart of disciple. If Dibba Gyan, Dibba means transcendental knowledge, a knowledge of relationship. Follow. If you are not developing that kind of knowledge, surely your Diksha is zero, useless. 
After taking Diksha, if you can discover your relationship with Bhagavan, Guru, Vaishnav, Dham, Nam, then your Diksha is okay. So what to speak about? What to speak about Dibba Gyan? Transcendental knowledge. Even common sense they are not developing. Even they are not going to develop common sense. Excuse me. I can prove it. Even they are not going to develop common sense. What to speak about Dibba Gyan? <laughs> Transcendental knowledge. Even common sense is not there. Still, today they are not getting maturity. Nothing. So, what kind of dikhatam? This way we have increased the number of dogs and, you know, and cat and monkey. This is called dikha. Dibbo gyan yato dadyat kuryat paposya sankshayam. Now you should remember the meaning of diksha. Now, you should remember what you mean by diksha. Nobody is going to explain you. You should remember. It is written, the meaning of diksha. Dibbo gyan yato dadyat kuryat paposya sankshayam. For infinity period, infinity period, na? You are traveling, now you are taking there, you know, taking birth here, this, that. But for infinity period, your Jivatma uh, taking different kind of body and traveling. In course of traveling this 14 world, by chance you are going to, you know, meet with one sadhu. By chance. Brahmanda Brahmiti Kono Bhagyavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti. You are right now. Brahmanda, in course of traveling infinity world, Sometime you become, you are climbing heavenly planet, sometime coming down to hell, again going up, again go, this way. In Chaitanya Chaitanya in Chaitanya Chaitanya some in infinity period for infinity we are traveling. Who can say, who can say how you are traveling, what is your condition, what is your, you know, different kind of sinful activities, you know, Jivatma doing sinful activities they are doing now. So Gurudev is so powerful. Whenever you are going to submit unto a lotus feet of Guru Padma, immediately Guru Padma is going to take all your sinful activities from you and going to burn up. You know, burn up. You don't know. Gurudev taking all sinful activities from your heart and going to burn by fire of his bhajan can burn up. So now, when you are going to submit 100%, then you are, you are, you know, pure. At least, you should come to a neutral position. Neutral position, no? At least you have no sinful activities. After that, Gurudev can give you Harinam. Gurudev can give you Harinam and Harinam mean, doesn't mean give the mala. Not there. Gurudev is going to explain what you mean by Harinam. What is the inner meaning of Harinam? How you can develop your capacity to chant Harinam? What you should think? What you should think at the time of Harinam? What you should think first at the time of Harinam? And ultimately, how you are, you know, how you are going to, you know, develop your consciousness? All Gurudev can. Not that one mala can addict. This is called cheating. And also on your part, you will have to, you will have to, on your part, you will have to, you will have to, you know, promise that I am not going to cheat you. Oh Gurudev, I am not going to cheat you. I promise you I am going to do bhajan. Please give me Harinam. Then, if you promise, if there is no duplicity inside your heart, then Gurudev can realize and give you Harinam, surely. Then you can realize what, you, what is bhajan. Sometime Guru Padpadma not giving complete diksha. Sometime according to your you know, present position, Gurudev can give some Harinam first, Panchadatta Harinam, explain. After that, maximum can give Guru Gayatri, which is very important. If you do Japa Guru Gayatri, you can find tremendous power. If you do Guru Gayatri, 
If actual Sadguru giving you Guru Gayatri, Guru Gayatri means you are going to develop knowledge. Guru Gayatri, Guru, Guru Mantra, Guru Gayatri, Guru Mantra. Very small mantra. You should not speak it to anybody. And maximum can give you Gaur Gayatri, Gaur Mantra. Go on doing. After that, if you develop your consciousness, then can call you, can give calm Gayatri, everything. Not before. Those who are cheater guru can say, ah, come, 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 I can give you sannyas. I can give you harinam, I can give you, you know, diksha, I can give you red cloth at the same day. Same day, sannyas also give me. By chance, if you go to some other guru, by chance, if you go to some other, so better, I am, the, I am your guru. But a pure guru never think I am guru. A pure guru always saying, always going to think I am not qualified. I am not your guru. My Guru Padman used to say, Prabhupada is your Guru. I am not your Guru. In front of Prabhupada, big photo. You are submitting in front of Prabhupada. The Guru Padman used to say and cry. I am not your Guru. My son, I am not your Guru. It's Guru. Prabhupada is your Guru. <coughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. I am not your Guru. This way, Guru Pa, I, I, you know, if you are going to do if you are going to do satsanga, everything depends upon the secret thing. How best possible way, how best possible way you are doing satsanga. If you are very clever, if you are going to do satsanga perfectly, very shortly, I promise you, very shortly you can discover your power coming. Everything depends upon, you know, this single point, how best possible way you are doing satsanga, your bhajan can develop. Anyway, Kesab Goswami Maharaj joined Mat long ago, long ago, and going to take Harinam, Diksha, everything from Prabhupada and started his mission life. Mission in life in Chaitanya Mat. He started doing seva. And Prabhupada wanted to appoint him. Prabhupada wanted to appoint Binod Bihari. Prabhupada wanted to appoint Binod Bihari in the maintenance of all lands and property. Follow? Land and property, Prabhupada speaking, Prabhupada speaking. Monday I can discuss. Prabhupada speaking. One educated man, Popa speaking, one educated man, very often coming to me, staying one and two days, one, one or two days, after that going away. Again coming sometime, again watching, hearing some harikat, again going away. Popa speaking. One day, he finds some fault with me. Popa speaking. One day he is going to find some fault with me. What fault? He is a sadhu. He is going to take care of the land and property. It's, the sadhu cannot. Sadhu mean one copain or naked. He is called sadhu. This is called sadhu. Why sadhu can wear nice clothes, everything? But they don't have any idea about yukta vairagya. Why a sadhu can wear some costly clothes? This is their question. Baba speaking, after watching, after, after some day he is going to leave me and uh, going to join some, join some Sahajya. Because they have more renunciation. I have no renunciation. <laughs> Baba speaking, someday he discover I am busy with some land and property seva. You see, land and property, that is not sadhu surely. After that, gone. If you cannot understand the mood of, if you, if you have failure to understand the mood of a pure sadhu, then you are going to meet with some danger in your life. Big problem. You can discover yourself in the ocean of misery. Be careful. So Kesav Goswami Maharaj was given the responsibility to control over all estate, Chaitanya estate, land and property. 
And all that time, all Muslim people, all devotees, you know, all resident of this, you know, place, they used to fear Vinodda. Vinodda was a very heavy personality. If somebody discovered Vinodda coming, they're running. Muslim people, the, the fear. Anyway, this way, at the time of Prabhupada, at the time of Prabhupada, that Chatkaji, you know, Chatkaji Samadhi, you know, Chatkaji, you know, you don't know, Chatkaji Samadhi, near Baman Pukur. Chatkaji Samadhi, this place was delivered. One big, big piece of land adjacent to Siva Sangam was delivered by Kesav Goswami, I mean Vinodda. Bhakti Vinod, Bhajan Kutir, all place, out of hand, you know, out of reach. I mean, local people, all committee, they are going to take the land and property. Only by the help of Vinodda, it was possible to acquire again, reacquire the land. One day, Prabhupada was expressing some, you know, deep concern and speaking with Vinodda. Is it possible for us, is it possible for us to get back that piece of land of Bhajan Kutira Bhakti Thakur? Vinodha says, surely, Prabhupada, you bless me, surely. This way, sometime, sometime Vinodha was bound to, you know, go for litigation, you know, litigation, you know, legal, prosecution, everything. Is bound to, to protect to protect the land and property of Chaitanya Mahat is bound. He is bound. You know, sometime some gosh, gosh, you know, some gosh, some gosh, they are going to beat some devotee of Chaitanya Mahat. Unnecessarily. Then Prabhu, Vinodda going to hear it, and Vinodda going to register one case in the co in a court and all those you know you know gosh they were put in, they were put into jail but Popa told we have no right to give punishment to anybody anyway Popa told we have no right to give punishment okay we can speak the UIT is not you know good for you to do this but we have no right to give punishment to anybody anyway Vinodda was controlling whole. At the same time, Vinodda was a you know big you know Vedanta acharya. As a big Vedanta acharya, big Vedanta acharya. He used to sit under a banyan tree in a chair, going to write something, follow and think something, doing harina. Sometimes some devotee is going to complain that Vinodda is uh, so much false ego in front of Prabhupada. But why? He is not going to look. We are going there. We are going through this place. He is not paying Randavad and not speaking uh, nothing to Prabhupada told, surely, surely he couldn't see you. He saw. He saw us. We, we are going to this place. Surely he couldn't see you. You cannot ask him. After some time, when he came to Maudi asking, we come to this, uh, through that place, you don't talk? I never saw. Because he's, he, was, he was thinking about some Siddhanta Vichar, all about the Seva of Prabhupada. Follow. They think yeah, they are going to ignore. Actually, Vinodda, thinking some Siddhanta Vichar, something, this way, Someday, some devotee is going to complain with Prabhupada about Vinodda. Prabhupada, Vinodda is going to spend money like water. Why? He can easily cross river by paying, you know, that actually in English it is not possible. In Bengali, Chayana, Chwana, that time, if you break one rupees, into 25, you know, part, 
that part was more sufficient to cross river. So that time was very, you know, cheap market. A binoda giving heavy amount to all boatmen. Suppose one boatman, Binoda going to cross river, one boatman, Binod Babu, you can you can you can come to my boat. Another boatman, Binoda, you can come to my boat, everybody. Don't worry. I can cross and can give the same amount to you all. Giving to them. Binoda paying. <laughs> and those who are you know not you know going, but still is paying. So this complaint, you know, Prabhupada, in front of Prabhupada, <coughs> some Chaitanya devotee, I mean, devotee going to speak, Vinodha spending money like water. We are begging everything. Then Prabhupada laughing. Prabhupada speaking, Acha, you speak. In your previous home, how much, you know, pocket money used to, used to spend? Pocket money? But one paisa. Prabhupada asking, Prabhupada knowing everything, and Sadhguru can realize everything. You speak or not speak, they can realize. Prabhupada asking, if you never mind, in your previous home, how much money was your, how much pocket money used to, you know, used to keep in your pocket? Well, one paisa. You see, Vinodha used to spend five rupees. That time, five rupees mean not even five hundred. 5,000. <laughs> 5 rupees today, I know, 5 rupees that day, today I cannot compare even with 5,000. So, Bino, Pope was laughing and speaking. Vinod Babu used to spend 5 rupees every day, pocket money, I mean to spend money. So, now you try to realize who is more renounced you know, order. Now, at present, you, you, you used to spend one paisa in your pocket, previous home. Now, how much you are spending? Well, ten paisa. So, now you are spending ten paisa. And previous home, you used to spend one paisa. And Kesab, and uh, our Binod Babu used to spend five, five rupees, now spending, and uh, he used to spend you know, so much, but now only spending five, five rupees. Who is more renounced? This way. Because Jukta Vairagya is such a thing, if you try to play some drama, Gurudev cannot believe. Gurudev cannot believe. If you try to play one drama that you are developing some Vairagya, Gurudev can realize. Prabhupada could realize that now all Muslim people all around, if Somehow they are going to attack Chaitanya Mahat, you know. Anyway, they can do it. They have some jealousy. So we depend upon Bhagavan. Follow. Still, you know, Vinodha going to, you know, help them so that they can come in our seva someday. Vinodha going to give something to them so that they can dedicate life there for the cause of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They can come, we can they come. There is some problem. Police can come after. Maybe one hour, two hours, three hours after. But first of all, you know, this way, Vinodha used to. But he was a he was a great pandit. He was a great pandit. Big Vedantis. He was such a you know Gauriyo. Vedanta Acharya. Among all our Guru Bhargava, he was the topmost, you know, Vedanta Acharya. Always he used to establish Siddhanta, which are all Vedanta, everything. Vedanta. He wrote one book, Mayabade Jivan, you know. Eh? The life of Mayabad. Mayabade Jivan. Tremendous. Incredible. Incredible. Without Guru Kipa, this kind of conception is not possible. He is writing one book, wrote one book, it's called Mayabade Jivani. I have that book. I am very happy. Analytical conception and going to kick and going to kick Mayabad Bichar gradually. 
His Mayabad Siddhanto, he used to break all Mayabad Siddhanto. He was so intelligent, he was super intelligent. He collected at least 18 version, 18. At least 18 different version, version, you know, version. 18 different version of Mayabad Siddhanta Vichar. 18. He collect, he compare, he study, and going to kick and break their Siddhanta. Follow. Whereas Popa, whereas Mahaprabhu told, you should not look at any Mayabadi. At present in our de devotional field, at present in our devotional devotional field, so many Mayabadi travelling around in guise of Vaishnava. So you cannot make any improvement in your bhajan. You don't know. You have no idea. They are Mayabadi. Maharaj, you say, yes. You come, I can discuss. How possible? They are inviting me. I was speaking Harikatha in Shiv Mandir. I never wanted to go to anybody's house. I have no self-interest for money, water, nothing. I was speaking Harikatha. They invite me. With folded hand, Maharaj, please come to our house. We can speak Harikatha more practical. I said, no, no, you can speak. You are not going to take anything. And at least people can say, I am going to your house. No, can nobody can say. I started speaking Harikatha. I was giving warning that you, this way if you run, you can fall down. Surely. Finally, they are going to consult with their god brother who is, jealous, who is having jealousy. They are going to give some tantra mantra. They fall down all. After hearing so much Harikatha, Thousands of Harikatha, how possible one man can, one man or woman can fall down? There is a condition. So in the guise of Vaishnava, be careful. I am in Vyasasana. I am not speaking lie. How to understand? You have to hear Harikatha. You can realize. So Kesav Goswami Maharaj was the number one. He was Vinodha, was number one Vedanta Acharya. He consulted 18 different kind of version of Vedanta. Mahaprabhu told, if you meet with any Mayabadi, you will have to take birth, take bath in Ganga with all your cloth. Your cloth is also contaminated. Follow. If you meet with any Mayabadi, talk with any Mayabadi, Mayabadi Mahaprabhu told, you will have to take bath with all your cloth. Whereas Keshav, whereas Vinodha, going to consult 18 different kinds of person of man. So he is not an ordinary man. If you read one line of Mayavadi, you can fall down. So why he is consulting 18 different? So that he can break Mayavad Siddhanta. That's why. To establish Vaishnava Siddhanta. I wonder how nice his explanation. So many a Vedanta Sutra explained by him. Anabriti Shabdhyat, Anabriti Shabdhyat, Ikshatena, Ikshatena, Ana, Ashabdam, different kind of sloka. Ikshatena, Ashabdam, Ana, after that he is going to explain Anadi Nidanam, Brahma, Shabda Tattam, Jadaksharam, Nivartati ortho bha, nivartati ortho bhavena pakriya yagatu yataha is sloka from Veda. You can go mad. If I go on explaining, if I go on explaining, you can understand the Bani Sharup. If I go on explaining this way, you can understand the Bani Sharup of Gurudev. I mean, Kesav Goswami Maharaj. So nice. Yeah. This way, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, whenever speaking Harikatha, Kesav Goswami Maharaj speaking Harikatha in Revensha College, Revensha, Kotok. In Kotok, you know? Kotok, you know? In, in, in the way of your, you know, Puri Puri journey. There. 
in Kotak Ravensa College, in front of thousands of, you know, people, especially they, were er they are all erudite scholars. They were all erudite scholars, speaking Vedanta Baksha. Shabda Janitrat, Anabriti Shabdat, Shabda Janitrat, Ikshaten Ashabdam. This way, so many Vedanta Sutta going to explain. If I go on explaining, day and day and night it will take day and night, not two hours, nothing. Kesuka Sima is going to speak. Maybe in evening time, night time I will speak in Hindi, Hindi, the explanation of this sloka. This way Kesuka Sima is going to explain. And he wrote so many things. Mayavat Siddhanta Vicha, time to time it was published in Patrika Gauriya. But the manuscript, manuscript all missing. Goryo editor that time promised him that you write it, we can publish. But after that, it was missing. Finally, Kesab Goswami Maharaj could real. Kesab Goswami Maharaj, finally, he discovered that manuscript in the house of some devotee near Chapahati. It is missing for a long time. For a long time, it's so nice writing, manuscript total missing. Finally, Kesav Goswami, it is the you know, arrangement of Nityananda. Kesav Goswami Maharaj is going to discover that manuscript in the house of some devotee in Chapati, you know, Champata, Chapati. This way, land and property, everything, and finally, I am going to jump because no time cannot permit. Finally, Finally, according to the desire of Pahupat. Finally, according to the desire of Pahupat, he wanted to open Gauriya Vedanta Samiti. Finally, according to the desire of Pahupat, because Pahupat wanted to indicate secretly. Pahupat going to indicate very secretly. So he was bound to establish the Gauriya Vedanta Samiti. But Gauriya Vedanta Samiti was first established in the year of 19... I forget. 1948 or the, I forget. I cannot remember. In Calcutta. In Calcutta, yes, it was established in Boshpara Lane. One place, Boshpara Lane. Calcutta, near... Gauriya Mission, you know, Calcutta Gauriya Mission, Calcutta Gauriya Mission, Kaliposa Chakravati Street, Calcutta Gauriya Mission. Just crossing the road there. That's called Bosch Paralem. He started, he started publishing, he started publishing all, you know, Gauriya Vedanta, you know, Gauriya Patrika. He started publishing all Gauriya Patrika from there. And still today, and still today, I can challenge the quality of the Patrika, I mean Gauriya Patrika or Devananda Gauriya Mart, can deserve some credit. Still today. Because they are maintaining some quality. All other Patrika you bring to me, very cheap, very cheap. Even you don't like, you, you cannot feel interest to read any magazine. All bonded souls, they are writing some article, this, that. But only, still today, they are going to mention some quality of that magazine. Still today. Kesavgo Sivan has gone. Still today, they are maintaining some quality. So this way, Maharaj started publishing. After that, Maharaj going to open another center in Chinsura. Chinsura, you know? Chinsura. If you go to Haura from Navadip, if you go to Haura in, in, from Navadip line to Haura, you can meet when one station that is called Chinsura. Chinsura was the colonial base. Chinsura was the colonial place of Farsi. Farsi, long ago. After that, English people also so many, a very important place. 
at the bank of you know, Ganga, to Chinsura. In Chinsura, there is Uddharan Mat. The name was the Uddharan Mat. Actually, that I've been there one time in my life, they invited me. And, and there you can find Gaur Netananda Vigraha, worshipped by Srinivas Acharya. Because Srinivas Acharya used to live in Kumar Gram, I mean just crossing the river, follow, Chinsura, try to understand. There is a Chinsura, Chinsura city at the bank of Ganga. Just to cross this Ganga, you can find the Sripat of Srinivas Acharya. So Srinivas Acharya used to, used to live both in Naihati, Naihati Chinsura, you know, follow. Naihati this part, and Chinsura, Chinsura that part. Naihati, our Kumar, Kumar, uh, there is Kumar, Kumar Gram. Kumar Hatta, Kumar Hatta. He used to stay there. Our Srinivas Ajjo. And Srinivas Ajjo used to stay here also in Mayapur. Or like Adhoito like Gosai, <coughs> in Santipur, <coughs> in Santipur, and here also, one house. Like Srinivas Ajjo also used to stay there. Just our Srinivas Ajjo used to worship in stock. Gaur Nityananda Vigraha, that the Seva, that the Seva of that Vigraha, you know, was discovered by, you know, by our Srinivas Acharya, Srivas Pandit, Srinivas Acharya, Srivas Pandit. They are all Acharya, so Srinivas Acharya is separate, but though they are all Acharya, that's why I speak Srivas Acharya, Srivas Pandit, actually. I should speak Srivas Pandit. It was worshipped, it was installed and worshipped by Sivas Pandit. That deity and that you know, place was recovered by our Kesav Gosimha. And the name of the temple was Uddharan Gauriyamat. There was a big fighting. There was a big fighting among local people. There was a big fighting among local people and Maharaj. They don't like to give this mat to them. But the authority wanted to give to Maharaj. But still the local people going to put some operation fighting with knife, with knife kind to stab. Kesab Goswami Maharaj is fearless. Kesab Goswami Maharaj is fearless. You know, follow. All local gunda. There, Kesab Maharaj told you, lock the temple and go to roof. If at all they are going to climb the roof and going to attack you, then you can, you know, attack also them. If they are going to attack you, to save yourself, you will have to attack them. You can go to roof. And surely, they are going to climb the pipe, you know, going up. They are going to attack them. They fall down. They are going to file one case to court. Then Kesav Gosima with turban and very nice garment, going to take the rickshaw and going to court and giving judgment in front of judge, in front of judge, they are going to appoint one legal advisor, I mean, lawyer, but Kesav Goswami is fighting himself. My Lord, my question is that, the temple was closed, yes or not? Yes. Our devotees were there inside temple, or outside, yes or not? Inside. Then how it is possible, my Lord, that the devotee can attack them? There must be, must be some reason. What is the reason? Our devotee speaking, they wanted to attack by climbing the roof. They wanted to, that's why for defending, self-defense. For self-defense, it is not, you know, illegal. For self-defense, my Lord, Kesav Goswami was successful. Many times. Kesav Goswami was fearless. This kind of fighting took place in, how I can see, it's like an epic Mahabharata, you know. It is like Mahabharata, if I go on speaking about Kesav Goswami, I cannot end. I am foolish number one. How I can speak within two hours? This Kesav Go Kesavji Gaurimat, in Mathura, Kesavji Gaurimat, there was the same case. Big fighting. 
The Prajabhat, you know, they are gunda, hooligan, they are going to kill. But Kesha Goswami are fearless. He is going to run Kes and come out successful. Only because he is Kesha Goswami Maharaj. Only because he is Kesha Goswami Maharaj, he is Kuresh. He is the Kuresh of Prabhupada. He was given title Kuresh. When all Sahajiya, I am not going into details, on all Sahajiya, nobody wanted to attack Prabhupada. All his personal sevak, try to understand, you can love. All the personal sevak of Prabhupada, all flying, leaving Prabhupada. When all Sahajiya, Gunda, that side, they are going to attack Prabhupada, to kill Prabhupada. That time, all personal sevak of Prabhupada, they were flying, they are going away, leaving Prabhupada. But Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj is going to take the cloth of Prabhupada. Gurudev, you give your cloth. Taking the cloth of Prabhupada and get the danda. And with ordinary dress, ordinary dress, Prabhupada is going away to Mayapur. Keshav Goswami Maharaj identified and let them throw danda everything. Let them throw. It can come on me, not on Gurudev. Follow. Heartless attack. Heartless attack. So this way, he took the role of, he took the role of Kuresh. He took the role of Kuresh to protect Gurudev. Like Kuresh wanted to protect Gurudev. Unparalleled, unbeaten. Unparalleled, unbeaten. My Guru Padma, after Keshav Goswami is gone, if I read the letter in front of you, you can cry. My Guru Mahal writing to him as an elder god brother. How nice. Now at present jealousy. If you are doing bhajan, your god brother can throw you out. Some other, other acharya can try to you know, arrange the situation, you can fall down. But that time is a situation. This way is was given. Another case, one or two cases I can speak. It is like epic, Mahabharata. When Pope had gone, I am going back, you know, front and back. I am bound to go, what to do? I am sometimes going front and back. I am going back again. When Prabhupada gone, then there was a big, you know, problem took place because of personal interest. The group, some group, you know, two group, one group going against Prabhupada, one group in favor of Prabhupada. Kesab Goswami Maharaj was so strict that even, even he didn't allow his elder brother, even he didn't allow his elder brother, Orli Maharaj. Who is brother? Even he didn't allow his elder brother, Orli Maharaj. Cut relationship with him. File one case against him. Because they wanted to get deviated from the teachings of Prabhupada. There was a big history, I cannot speak. There was a big case. And on some ground, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, Naurabhu, they were all sent to jail. Unnecessarily. They are going to put some false allegation against Kesav Goswami Maharaj, murder case. Unnecessarily. Going to put one false allegation there. Somebody falling down from tree and die, they are going to say he is, they are going to kill him. But it is not true. That they were sent to jail. After that, After that, Vinodda is going to contact one big lawyer in Midnapur. He is a so intelligent lawyer. So intelligent lawyer. I want to, you know, file the case and the case going on. Finally, finally, Vinodda and all other people, I am other devotee, they were all free. They all you know, come out of jail. They are they were put in jail, but after the case, you know, case going on, finally our Vinodha come out successfully. And here in the case of the Bhagavad, you know, that second that group, Bhagavad Gauri mission, with this this portion, our Chaitanya word, case going on. Case going on. First of all, I told that day when Prabhupada gone, there was some disturbance. It is the arrangement of Jogomaya. And our Hayagya Brahmachari thought that 
Bhakti Pradeep Chitta Goswami Maharaj, very stainless collect, character, stainless character. He should be appointed Acharya. But un, unanimously, unanimous, you know, unanimously, they appoint his brother, Anunt Vasudev. And finally, some dirty thing were discovered with his life. He is going to take sannyas. After that, he returned to family life. All problem coming. There is a big disturbance. So when the when when our when our Kesab Goswami Maharaj, I mean Vinodha, going to file one case against Olimi Maharaj. I mean that group case going on. Vinodha going to file. They are totally deviated from the teachings of Prabhupada. They are not going to arrange Navadip Dham Parikrama. They are not going to wear sannyas base. They don't believe. They don't believe. They don't believe Prabhupada. They don't believe Prabhupada. They are going to stop. They are going to stop chanting Harinam loudly. Follow. They are going to stop chanting Harinam loudly. So on this ground, my Lord, they cannot you know, get any portion of this mat. Because they are against Gurudev. If they are against Gurudev, how disciple can take? Cannot take. Then finally, they are so clever. Finally, in one day, they are going to give sannyas. They are going to give sannyas based dress to at least eight people. After that, I heard eighteen people. First, they give eight sannyasis. They started chanting in a Harinam with Mridanga. They are so clever. They started, you know, go, you know, Gaudam Parikama, Navadip Dham Parikama. When the final judgment was there, the case going on and the final judgment they will have to hear. Then in front of judge, they are playing Midanga and climbing in group. And when the case going on, they are going to prove, my Lord, we believe sannyas. We have, you see, in our mat, we have so many sannyasis. Who told we are not going to believe? Just opposite they are going to speak. Who told we are not doing Harinam Sankirtan loudly? Here you are. We are doing Sankirtan loudly. Judge speaking. So they are doing everything. So they can get the share. So Kesab Goswami Maharaj was you know, defeated externally. Externally, externally Kesab Goswami Maharaj defeated. Externally, Kesab Goswami Maharaj defeated. But our, our Narottama Prabhu, our Bharti Maharaj was a writer of all legal, legal, you know, legal term, everything. Now our Bharti Maharaj speaking, Maharaj, you get defeated. So long I am giving energy to write your instruction, everything, legal instruction. Sridhar Maharaj is going to edit, you know, Finally, we are defeated. Kesav Goswami was speaking, what you say? Man, I say, actually, you are defeated. We are defeated, foolish. We are not defeated. It seems that we are defeated. What was our target? What was our target? To install the teachings of Prabhupada? We are successful or not? <laughs> you foolish, we are defeated, they are defeated. They wanted to get defeated from Prabhupada. I wanted to install the teachings of Prabhupada. Right or not? So externally we are defeated. But internally they are defeated. They are bound to take the teachings of Prabhupada. So we are defeated or they are defeated? And not, yes, we are not defeated. This way. Kesab Goswami Maharaj was one piece, jewel piece. Kesab Goswami Maharaj was so jewel piece, I cannot describe. Impossible. This way, you see, up to his last moment of life, he was serving Prabhupada. He wanted to avoid his elder brother. Elder brother, avoid, cut relations. One day, some of his disciples, one, one day some of his disciples going to, going to Kishanagar for some seva. They are coming and going to enter into mission, this Godrum, going to take prasadam there. Coming back to Mart, Kesab Maharaj asking, why so late? Actually, we went, we went to mission. 
Gauri mission. Why? And where you took prasadam? There. You will have to fast for three, three days. You will have to fast for three days. You will have to wash your mouth with cow dung and urine and Ganga water. Why you go there? They are against Prabhupada. So strict. If this kind of is this if this kind of strong belief, if this kind of strong belief in Gurudev, not there inside your heart. Kesav Goswami Maharaj always wanted to protect the dignity of Prabhupada. Kesav Goswami Maharaj always wanted to break Mayabad Siddhanta. Kesav Goswami Maharaj always wanted to make cross down all Mayabad Siddhanta, install Shuddha Siddhanta, where not? If I go on speaking about, it is one kind of epic. Even against government, when government from Delhi wanted to approve one rule to get control over Shadu, government wanted to pass one rule to get control over, over Shadu Sanyasi. Kesav Goswami had protest. Kesav Goswami had protest. Kesav Goswami had protesting against, you know, cow slaughter. I, I heard it after. I thought I am the first person to write this kind of book. But I heard, no, Kesav Goswami also. He wrote one cow, cow slaughter, you know, protest note. This way. Big, big Pandit, when they are writing wrong, big, big Acharyas, when they are making mistake, Kesav Goswami always one, used to protest against them, big way. And nobody is there to stand in front of Kesav Maharaj. Nobody there to stand in front of Kesav Goswami Maharaj. If Kesav Goswami is going to speak something, nobody can stand in front of him. So heavy. By the mercy of Prabhupada, he was enjoying perfect Guru Kipa. Perfect Guru Kipa. Perfect. Full Guru Kipa. So, he was the number one Acharya. He was number one Gauri Acharya. Why? I already started. Why? Because he wanted to protect all Siddhanta Vichara of Gauriya Siddhanta Vichara. Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada means all the Siddhanta Vichara of Mahaprabhu. Okay? All the, all the Siddhanta Vichara of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, all the Siddhanta Vichara of, of Prabhupada means the Siddhanta Vichara of Mahaprabhu. That day I was speaking, na? what is the utility of Guru Parampara? Sampradayik Parampara, that is the utility. What is the utility? Mahaprabhu gone 550 years more than that, gone. But still, we have the privilege to get the same teachings of Mahaprabhu through Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada and Bhakti Thakur Kesav Maharaj. That is the utility of Guru Parampara. Follow. There is the utility of Guru Parampara. This way, Kesav Goswami Maharaj never wanted to make any, this, this way, Kesav Goswami Maharaj never wanted to make any compromise. This way, Srila Kesav Goswami Maharaj never, never in his whole life, never he wanted to make any compromise with Sahajiya, Mayavadi, Sahajiya, even God brothers, even his own brother, no compromise. Because regarding Siddha, regarding Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta, Compromise cannot stand. If you want to make compromise, that means you cannot do Hari Bhajan, perfect Hari Bhajan. I mean perfect Hari Bhajan, you cannot do perfect Hari Bhajan. This way, Kesav Kasi Maharaj is the protector. I can solemnly say, I can solemnly say that Kesav Kasi Maharaj is the protector of Gauriya Vaishnav Siddhanta. He established Gauriya Vedanta Samiti. He wanted to establish all Gauriya Vaishnava Siddhanta. In his writing, countless writing, Harikatha, speech, everything. And 
if I go on explaining how much love for Guru Vaishnava, how much love, tremendous love for Guru Vaishnava. Like that day I was speaking about, about Narari Prabhu, how much is to love, all Guru Vaishnava is to love. Anyway, today time cannot permit. So the sloka I started with, what sloka I started with? Najatra Vaikunta Katha Sudhapaga Na Shadavaha Bhagavataha Tadasraya Najatra Vaikunta Najatra Jagyesa Makha Mahatsabaha Suresha Loka Upi Na Vaisha Asyabhatam Guru Bhas writing one letter. Guru Mahal wrote one letter to Kesav Goswami when Kesav Goswami has gone from the material world. Writing, Oh my God brother, you are eternally serving Prabhupada. You are eternally serving Prabhupada. He wanted, you wanted to give us protection. We enjoy your love. Narodi Prabhu and you all used to love me. Well, while I was in Chaitanya as an editor of Nodiya Prakash. Today, Guru Mahārāj writing this. Today, I am missing your Sangha. Guru Mahārāj writing one letter. Long letter. I cannot speak. Only just I am speaking. Guru Mahārāj speaking. After Prabhupāda gone, for a long time I was bound to stay in Bhagavad Gauri mission. There also I find some problem. They are going to violate the instruction of Prabhupada. I was bound to go to, you know, Kalna, Kalna, Sipat, Bardhaman king, give one temple. Finally, to get, finally to get, ma, finally to get satsanga, I was bound to give response to the invitation of Madhu Goswami Maharaj. I was the editor of Chaitanya Mahal. There also, after Madhu Goswami Maharaj gone, I was feeling some shortage of satsanga. Finally, I, for a long time, I was staying there. Finally, I joined, you know, Gopinath Gauri Maharaj. There also, I am feeling, you know, some problem. Feeling me? Insecure. Mahaguru Maharaj writing a letter. I want to get your association. This way, Guru Maharaj writing one, a note of apology, a, a loveful note, it was published in the paper. This way, all the time we have to think about the glories of Guru Vaishnav. If we forget, we can fall down. The success of your bhajan is satsanga. Today we are doing satsanga, na? Satsanga of Kesav Goswami. His Bani Sharup is there. We are going to satsanga of his Bani Sharup. So, I don't like to stay even in heavenly planet. I don't like to stay even in heavenly planet if I am not going to get satsanga. I can explain the meaning of this sloka someday, not today. So, Bancha Kalpaturva Sikhi Pasindu Bhavajapati Dhanang Pavane Bhavishnu Bhyo